and welcome to the third episode of our boat restoration series. We're currently restoring a 1980s Cobra 750. This episode is going to be me voicing over what we've been doing recently just because we forgot to record me on camera. Hopefully we'll have enough clips so the process we followed actually makes sense. So the project for this episode was replacing the non-existent turbine and rebuilding the pole. The pole was corroded and in a serious state of disrepair. The old casing was empty with just a few wires sticking out at the end of it. So the first thing we did was take it home so we could start working on it. The first job we needed to get done was taking off the old turbine case and the bearing off underneath it. The whole thing was rusted together, even the circlips were difficult to take off and the bearing completely fell apart. When we finally got it apart, we took it to a local engineering firm to get the brand new flange welded onto the pole. The engineering firm welded the flange onto a stainless steel sleeve and then bolted the sleeve to the pole. The alloy of the pole and the stainless steel sleeve will react with each other over time, but hopefully we will have a new stainless steel pole before it gets too bad. We then took it back home so we could sand it. We sanded it all by hand a few times down the pole. We then used a drill to clean up some of the more tricky areas down at the bottom. We then masked off the new stainless steel sleeve to get ready to paint. Before painting, we actually had to figure out a way to suspend it off the ground so that we could paint it in its entirety. We figured out a way to hang it off of two chairs using some washing line, which actually worked really well. And then we began painting it with Hempel Multicoat paint and a roller. We gave it a few coats of paint with the roller and then gave it a final coat of paint with a paintbrush to ensure a nice smooth finish.
We then took off the masking tape, which again is my favourite part of any painting project, and then we touched up any places we'd missed or didn't think looked right. Once the paint was dry, we took it to another part of the house where we put together a little soldering station so that we could solder and heat shrink the wires together. We may have gone a bit overboard with the heat shrink in an effort to make it watertight, so hopefully it will be. Then it was ready to be bolted together and taken back to the boat. There was also no branded stickers on the tail of the turbine, so we got some stickers made of our logo and put it on both sides, which looks fantastic. <laughs> So we transported it to the boat. We wanted to make sure that the area we were mounting it to was sanded properly so that the marine sealant we were going to use worked. We actually managed to thread the wire the wrong way around the bars so we had to correct that before we finally mounted the pole onto the boat using stainless steel nuts and bolts. Something about you isn't right I swear you can make me lose my mind Lying here awake at night this is love and I don't want it Why you gotta be so complicated I'm sick and tired of contemplating It was difficult fastening said nuts and bolts into place because there wasn't much space and we didn't have line of sight either so that was a nightmare We did it but it was a nightmare You keep running to whenever you feel down then we took to tightening up the guy lines. We aren't great at tying knots yet, so it took us a while, and we wanted the proper tension because a giant spinning fan above our heads is kind of dangerous. so problematic why are you acting so neglected it feels so cold and unaffected swear to god that i don't want this no something about you isn't right I swear you can make me lose my mind
The last thing we needed to do is mount the actual fan to the turbine. This also took us a while as well because it started to actually get quite windy and we wanted to see it done. We are going to have to be quite careful with how we orient ourselves in the back. Thankfully Jacob is six foot two and he can move around okay so we'll just have to be careful getting on and off the boat. And that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please press the little like and subscribe bell buttons if you like our content and would like to support us. That would be greatly appreciated. If you're on Instagram, you can find us at Bail Isn't Wild. Some of the photos we take get uploaded to Instagram before the video goes live every week. Again, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode where hopefully I'll be on screen this time and we'll make more progress on the outside of the boat. Have a lovely week.